Rand Water is proud to present a journey in the water cycle. It was a bright and sunny day on Earth, but up in the sky, a massive storm was starting to form. All the clouds were gathering, and there was a lot of thunder rumbling in the distance. Sploosh and his other water droplet friends were busy preparing for their big jump. They'd done this many times before, but they were still very nervous. The thunder drew closer and closer. Suddenly, there was a flash of lightning. This was the signal to jump. Sploosh and his friends fell from the sky in a spray towards the earth. It was a cool feeling as they raced through the air. The earth was getting closer and closer. With a loud splash, all the droplets landed. Sploosh looked around to see where he had landed. Where am I? asked Sploosh. A big old willow tree that lived on the bank of the river answered, You are in the Vaal River. You are heading towards the Vaal Dam. Thank you, replied Sploosh, as he whizzed past the willow tree. As Sploosh started his journey, he began to get dirty. Suddenly, the river started to slow down. Sploosh saw a whole lot of reeds in front of him. Why are we slowing down? exclaimed Sploosh. You're slowing down because you're in a wetland, answered one of the reeds. What's a wetland? asked Sploosh. The reed replied, A wetland is a flattish area along a river where there's a lot of reeds like me. We help to clean you of your dirt. We also slow you down so that you can flow in the river both in the rainy and dry seasons. We act like a sponge. We are your cleaning stations and natural dams at the same time. Once Sploosh had passed through the wetland, the river continued on its journey. The river flowed strongly as it passed many farms. There were cows and sheep grazing on the land. Now and then Sploosh saw small towns where people lived. He could see some of his friends being sucked up by a huge pipe to be used in these towns. Just as the willow tree said, the river poured into the Val Dam. There were a lot of friends here, and he had a great time chatting to them. One of his friends said, I began my journey in the Tugela River in KwaZulu-Natal. I was rudely sucked out of the river and put into a huge pipe and pumped over the Drakensberg. I was dropped into a dam, and after a few days, I flowed into a river. I then went on a peaceful journey and ended up in the Val Dam. Another of Sploosh's friends said, I started my journey in the Katze Dam in Lesotho. I was sucked out of the dam and put into a very long tunnel. Whilst I was in the tunnel, I had to have my passport stamped at passport control before I entered South Africa. I fell out of the tunnel into a river. I was very dizzy after my journey. I surfed my way down a number of rivers and landed in the Val Dam. Since the wetland, Sploosh had become dirty again. He was really annoyed with all the soil, germs and other pollution in the water that had made him dirty. As Sploosh was swimming around in the dam, he could see a fisherman in a boat trying to catch fish. He warned the fish about the man. The fish thanked him and moved to another part of the dam. One day, Sploosh came across a huge concrete structure. What is this? asked Sploosh. It's a dam wall, said a fish. It holds back the water for humans to use. Sploosh heard a sucking noise and went to investigate. Sploosh got too close and was sucked out of the dam into a concrete canal. Oh no, shouted Sploosh. What journey am I going on now? You're going to be cleaned again, replied the fish. A very nervous Sploosh arrived at Randwater's cleaning station. He really wanted to be clean again, but he was worried that he might get hurt. He passed through metal screens that trapped large living organisms, sticks, leaves and litter. From here, Sploosh flowed into a huge spiral tank where chemicals were added. 
He moved at very high speed, which made all the soil, germs and other bad guys stick to the chemicals, which formed clumps. As sploosh slowed down in the outer edges of the tank, these clumps joined together to form flock. From here, he flowed into a large tank, where he slowed down even more to allow the flock to settle to the bottom of the tank. This formed sludge, which would later be sucked out of the tank. I'm starting to feel better, exclaimed Sploosh. He then flowed over a weir and into another tank. In this tank, carbon dioxide was bubbled. Ooh, this is ticklish, laughed Sploosh. Next, he passed through a sand filter, and the last stubborn, small living organisms and some germs were removed. Hey, this doesn't hurt at all, said Sploosh. Sploosh was put into a tank and mixed with chlorine gas. This killed all the germs and Sploosh was clean enough to drink. He was pumped to a reservoir where he met up with a lot of his friends. From the reservoir, Sploosh was piped to houses, schools, businesses and factories. I'm really proud to be clean tap water, exclaimed Sploosh. Sploosh raced his way through a pipe and fell out of a shiny silver nose. Here he was used to clean a dirty little child in the bath. Some of his friends cleaned dirty clothes, floors and dishes. Others were used for cooking, drinking and brushing teeth. Some were used wisely, others were not. Oh no, I'm dirty again, exclaimed Sploosh. The plug was pulled out of the bath. Sploosh went down the drain and into a pipe. He was on his way to a wastewater treatment works where his friends told him that he would be cleaned again. I've had enough, shouted Sploosh. Every journey I take I get dirty and have to be cleaned. I wish I was back in a cloud. When he arrived at the wastewater treatment works, he passed through a screen that trapped large objects like rags, paper and plastics. From here he flowed into a tank where he slowed down and heavy objects like stones, sand and soil were removed. Sploosh flowed into another tank where fine solids and some germs from human waste sank to the bottom. Special tiny organisms were added to Sploosh. These organisms ate the dissolved nutrients. Sploosh rushed off to yet another tank, where these organisms and some germs sank to the bottom to form sludge. Great, thought Sploosh. Now I'm almost clean. He was then sprayed with chlorine gas to kill any remaining organisms and germs. Finally, Sploosh was clean enough and surfed one of the waves back into a river. Ah, <sighs> at last, some peace and quiet exclaimed Sploosh. The day began to get very warm and Sploosh was starting to get very hot. He started feeling very light-headed and then suddenly began to rise into the sky. Hey, this is so cool, said Sploosh. When Sploosh opened his eyes, he was back in the clouds. Sploosh turned to his friends and said, here we go again, off on another journey.